Hi, my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Today we're going to focus on exercises for arthritis that will help you do your everyday activities. So this is going to be really exciting and it's even more exciting because we have Carol. Hi, as she said, I'm Carol and I can feel for you because I have arthritis too. I had it in my hips, so I have two hip replacements, and now I'm getting it in my thumb. So I really need these exercises. So just enjoy. Alrighty, one of the last things we wanna do when we have aches and pains, like even when we first get up in the morning, we're kind of so stiff. You think to yourself, oh, I would love to go back to bed, but of course, we want our morning cup of coffee or tea, and so we do have to get up. But our movements are slow, but you'll find once you start to move, golly, you feel a little better and a little better and a little better. So before you join us or any other exercise program, you'll wanna make sure you check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. Also, you'll wanna wear loose, comfortable clothing as Carol and I have, so that when you bend or stretch or reach, you're not constricted in any way. Then, you'll wanna have water before, during, and after our time together. And you feel free to drink it, stop at any time. Drinking water is extremely important. Also, work at your own pace. If Carol and I are going too quickly for you, slow down. You can even stop if you want. But remember, consistency is the key. So you really wanna do these exercises. Maybe if you can only do five minutes and then need to take a break, that's okay. Come back the next day and maybe you can do six or seven minutes. But keep trying because every little bit counts to bringing you to a healthy, healthier way. And once you're feeling healthy and strong and flexible, all your everyday activities are a lot easier to do. So we want to listen to our body. If we're working and all of a sudden you go, ooh, my shoulder hurts, back off. If we're bringing our arms up like this, and right now it hurts, only bring your arms up this far. So constantly listen to your body. Now you'll notice, Carol and I are both in a chair that's very, very sturdy. It's not gonna slide on anything. And we notice, as we look at the floor, there's nothing on the floor that's gonna prevent us from sliding our legs out and in. So we make sure that the environment on the floor is nice. We also look around us, making sure there's no lamp on a table. So if I move my arm like this, I am not gonna crash that lamp down to the floor. And all of a sudden you wanna look up high because you know maybe you've got chandeliers in your house. So make sure your environment is safe. You're not gonna slide or trip on a rug or a cord. You're here, and when we move our legs, you just wanna make sure that you don't get stuck in anything. Also, you'll wanna make sure that you smile, because if you smile, it just seems like everything's just a little bit easier to do. And remember, you can do it. We know you can do it. We are your cheerleaders, right? Right. Carol wasn't only a cheerleader, she was a showgirl in New York City. Okay, so now we're going to think about how we move to make our everyday ex exer our exercise moves a little <sighs> easier. Ah, today we're going to use something to help us. We've done exercises with our fingers before, but now we're gonna get something that's a little easier. So, because we want to get something that is squishy and maybe round, you might have one of these sponges for your bathroom. You might have sponges like Carol has. If you don't have that, maybe you have a pair of socks. A pair of socks will work. Something where we can move our fingers. If you don't have anything like that, but you do have a face cloth, you can take the face cloth and kind of make it into a little kind of roundy thing because you don't really need too much. If you're saying to yourself, golly, my hands hurt so much when I do this. If you have a pair of gloves, you can put your hand in the glove and that will just make it a little easier where you don't have to squeeze too hard. Okay, so you can use that. So we'll put these down for now. 
And I'll tell you what my trick is. If you don't have socks or something round, you can use toilet paper because toilet paper is squishy. So uh, I would use toilet paper if I were you, if you have no big round squishy things, okay. So we're sitting at the edge of our chair. Sometimes when we sit at the edge of our chair, you think, oh, my back hurts. I don't think I can do this. Yes, you can. You simply take a pillow and place it behind you because you do want your buttocks to the front of the chair. That way we have to sit up nice and tall. You'll notice for Carol and me, our ear is over our shoulder, our shoulder is over our hips. So Carol and I are in good, good posture. Okay, and you wanna be in the best posture that you can be. So when you get up in the morning, it's kind of achy and we wanna loosen those muscles up so we can do our everyday activities. One of the things that one of my friends does is she leaves her dishes in the sink. And when she gets up in the morning, she puts the warm water on and washes her dishes. That's pretty interesting, but my sink and my dishes would be stuck with food. So <laughs> I don't do that, but yeah, I... <laughs> warm water always helps to yes. loosen up the muscles around the joints. So some of my friends take a warm shower first thing in the oh. morning, you know, just to get those muscles and the ligaments I and tendons. That. Yeah, you're a morning shower person. Yeah. I'm an evening shower person because I can get to sleep better. Just saying. Okay, so you wanna pace yourself. You don't wanna strain. You don't want to um, make it, as soon as you feel pain, you stop immediately. We're gonna start with a small range of motion and then get bigger, okay? We're gonna have our hands down by our sides. We're going to breathe in and simply just bring our arms up, breathe in and we breathe out and we float down. Now we're gonna bring our arms a little higher, breathing in and exhale. Now we're gonna let the thumbs lead as we breathe in because that's more relaxing on the shoulder. And we come up a little higher and down, good work. Now we're going to breaststroke. So you're gonna bring your hands together, push front and push the water away, good. We're gonna breaststroke, reach a little farther, push back a little further. And last time, do your best, do your best. There you go, nice work, nice work. Now we're gonna relax our hands by our shoulders. We're gonna breathe in and lengthen up high, come back down. Now we're gonna see if we can go up a little higher. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. And the third time, here's our try. And so you'll see, I don't go up very high, but Carol does. Okay, let's try the other side, breathe in. And as you breathe out, shoot the hand up a little bit, just feel that. You'll notice that both Carol and my hands and arms are in front of our face, in front of our shoulders. Here's your big, big, big one. There you go. And slowly down. That was terrific. So we were working the shoulders. Let's let our hands relax down. Let's pull both shoulders front. We roll over. And then we breathe in and pull your arms back, opening up those lungs, wow. breathing in that fresh, healing, oxygen-rich air. Okay, breathe out, whoosh. Breathe in and open, small arch in the back. Breathe out, oh, that feels so good. Mm -hmm. And the third one, breathe in, bring in all that oxygen. And exhale and down. So that's just a little bit with the shoulders. We do gentle shoulder rolls, paying attention. How does this feel? How does this feel? Great. So we worked on our shoulders. Now we're gonna bend the elbow. And so it's almost like we're riding a bike with our arms. So we're pushing the pedal forward, drawing it up and back. Now we're gonna hold it here and go in the other direction. So this is like we're swimming. dog paddling, swimming, dog paddling, right. Yeah. Actually a dog paddles like this. You're right, we are swimming. Okay, we're having a swimmingly good time. <laughs> and then we relax because even those few exercises, I could feel it on my shoulder. Okay, so if you feel it, it's your body's way of saying, just back off a little, and so that's exactly what you do. Okay, our lower body, so we're working on our shoulders and our elbows, the lower body, we're just gonna lift the toes up, and then push the toes down and lift the heels up. That's it, push the heels down. Can you bring the toes up higher? Good, good, 
And as the balls of the foot press down, pull the heels up, and you're going to feel the muscle behind the leg tighten up. Then we pull the toes up, and you feel the muscle behind the leg stretch out, right? And pull the heels up and feel the muscle on the back of the lower leg tighten up. Now as we pull the toes up, we're going to pull our fingers up, keeping the heels of the hands on the legs. Then our fingers come down, the heels come up, and the heels of our hands come up. Good. So we're doing a whole bunch of things at the same time. And of course, all the while, we're nice and tall, our shoulders are relaxed, and golly, we feel great because our bodies love to move. One more time, please. Heels up. Perfect. And now your toes and your fingers come up. Great. Now, this is an interesting one. We're rolling onto the outsides of our feet. You'll feel a nice stretch on the outsides of the foot, and we're trying to get the ankle more towards the floor on the outside. Can you feel that stretch a bit? Mm -hmm. Good. Come back to center. Breathe in. As you breathe out, roll out. Just see if you can go a little more. If your body says no, have great reverence for what your body is telling you. Come back to center, please. Breathe in. Third time. Exhale and roll out. I can really get more range of motion the last time I do it. Now, we're going to step out a bit, keeping our posture nice and tall. We're going to take these little ankles, and we're going to see if we can roll them in. So you want to roll over like onto your papa toe, onto that big toe, inside of the ankle, inside of the foot. Can you feel that a little bit? That's tricky. <laughs> it is. It's tricky because we don't do it a we lot do intentionally. It. Yeah. We might be walking on uneven ground and do this. It's very different. It is. Come back to center. Breathe in. As you exhale, slowly. See if you can roll in a little more. If you can't or even if you don't want to, that's okay. And here's our third time. Breathe in, sit tall. And as you exhale, roll those ankles in. Try to get them a little closer to the ground. <laughs> And relax. So what we were doing is really, really working that foot and ankle. Speaking of the foot and ankle, we're going to hold on to our leg. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to lean back. So we're at the front of our chair. That allows us space to lean back. We hold the leg. Breathe in. As you breathe out, just pull the leg in just a little bit. And come down. Ah, Breathe in. Breathe out and pull the leg. Can you get in a little more? If you can't, it's okay. Step down. Now, if you say to yourself, you might be saying to yourself, you know, it's really hard for me to get my leg up. And if that's true, you can nice and easily grab something oh. like maybe a bigger than this towel and you place it underneath the leg and you hold your hand so your thumbs are up, yeah. your wrists are straight. Breathe in. As you breathe out, pull it up, keeping your elbows down. So if you can't do it with your hands, maybe you could get something like a pillowcase, breathe in, or a dish towel, towel. or even a towel. towel. Yeah. And then relax. But you want to make sure your wrists are like this. The reason is, if you hold onto the towel and your wrists are like mm -hmm. this, your wrists are going to crack out and it's going to hurt. So if you do use a towel, make sure that your wrists are nice and straight. Okay. Now the other leg. Breathe in. As you breathe out, just lean back a little bit, pull it up a little bit, just letting those joints know we've got some action plan for them. Breathe in. As you breathe out, pull that knee in a little bit more. Good job. And a couple more. Breathe in. As you breathe out, just lean back a little, pull that knee up just a little more. And trust me, your body will know when you should stop. So we have to have great respect for our bodies. Good. Now, here comes the last one. Breathe in. Breathe out and just pull it in as far as you can. Good, 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 good. And relax down. Nice. So that was working a little bit of the hip up and down. We did roll the knees out and in. So now we're going to step out small to begin with. We sit nice and tall. Even though we're working the lower body, we want to make sure that our upper body is nice and tall. Our bellies are in. Our chests are up. Our shoulders are up back and down. And we feel like a million bucks. So we're going to tap out just a little bit. So we tap out a little bit and in and out a little bit and in. Now we're going to see if we can go out a little more. Maybe a little more. Maybe not. You're going to feel this in the hip. You're also going to feel a stretch on the inner thigh. Very nice. Very nice. And now this is our fifth one. Can we go out a little more? Maybe yes. Maybe no. Good job. Let's try the other foot. Nice and easy, very slowly. And you're going to find that if you pull the belly in, it helps lift the leg up and step out a little bit. 
come back to center. Let's go out a little bit more. If you feel like it, good. We're nice and tall. Out a little bit more, maybe halfway, good. Now three quarters of the way. And okay, here's your big step out. Step out, feel the gentle stretch on the inner thigh, and step in. So that was pretty good. How do you feel with that? Good. Now we're gonna do a combination. We're going to pick the foot up and step out, okay? So you can lift the foot if you want. So the first one, we'll go ahead and lift the foot. We're gonna lift and tap out, lift and tap in. Now Carol's gonna take her hand off of the leg, so follow Carol. And I'm going to keep doing a couple of more, lifting my leg up, tapping out. That's it. Good. And you'll see that Carol's really lifting her leg. She's really stepping out. So if you're a weenie like me, you can follow <laughs> me. <laughs> and one more, please. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. What a good job you did. And then just flutter the toes. Good. Other foot. So if you need a little of assistance, remember you can grab a whole pillowcase and pull out or a towel. I like a pillowcase because there's not so much uh, stuff. A towel, there's a lot of stuff, at least with my towels. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to lift the leg up using the thigh, working the joint of the hip. And we're going to tap out a little bit. Good. Okay, so I'm telling myself this is oh. hard. So I'm going to pick up and then come in and a little more good good and see if you can go out a little more good so you'll notice we're leaning back a little bit and we're working our stomachs believe it or not leaning back touching in and out okay now we're going to go out way out follow carol and i'm going out as far as i can and in i think i want to do one more out as far as I can and in. And no matter what you did, that's great. So now we want to get a nice stretch. So we're going to extend one leg out. Good. And we're just going to bring the hand, back of the hand to the shoulder. Push it forward and let it float down to the thigh. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, the flat back comes forward. So now we're working on the hinge of the hips. So you notice I'm only coming down a little bit, but Carol's got a greater range. Everybody's different. Breathe in, come up. Sit tall and exhale. And see if you can slide down a little bit more. Remember, everybody's different. And just moving is great. And slowly come up third time. Breathe in. Long, beautiful spine. Exhale and slide down. Ooh, I love that. And then slowly come center. Because you are leaning forward, take this hand and pull it up and back. Pull the elbow back. Open the chest. Open the chest. Feel a nice stretch right through here. Your shoulder blades also rolling into your spine, which is great. And then slowly come back to center. Excellent. Let's try the other leg. So we want to stretch out the back of the leg. That's what this is designed for. And if your toe is up, it'll go right down into your calf. Okay, breathe in, sit tall. And as you exhale, slide down just until you feel it. My hands on my thigh, supporting the weight of my upper body. I breathe in, I come up a little more. So you'll notice that Carol is very naturally flexible. I'm naturally not flexible. But I have a lot of good qualities. That's just not one of them. <laughs> and slowly slide down. Good, good. And one more time, please. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slide down as far as you can go comfortably. Push the heel of the hand into the thigh. Come up. And this is where we want to open up the back. Pull the hand back. So you're going to feel a stretch in the chest. Because we've been too much rounding down. Doesn't that feel good? Mm. It does. And then slowly come back to center. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna grab our little sponges and work with our fingers. Okay, so Carol has two sponges. I have a roll of toilet paper because I happen to think <laughs> this is very clever. Okay, but notice that my hand has to go wide. On this other hand, I have a sponge like Carol, so maybe it's difficult for me to hold my fingers this wide. Okay, so we have one sponge in each hand. Want me to do one in each? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> She's trying to get out of her work, Carol. Okay. Well, this would be hard. 
It would be harder, but we don't want to be hard in the beginning. Okay. Okay. So we're going to let them rest right here. We're going to, with a thumb on one side and the pointer on the other, let's try to get our thumb and our finger to touch. Squeeze. Two, three, just a little. Good. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Now try the ring finger in the thumb. Ring finger doesn't like this. Breathe in. Breathe out and squeeze. Two, three. You're doing great. Shoulders relaxed, chest up. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Here comes Mr. Ring Finger. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out and squeeze the ring finger towards the thumb. I hate this one. I feel it in my thumb. Six, <laughs> seven, eight. And now the pinky winky do. Ooh. Here we go. Pinky and thumb. Try to pull them together. Good. Three. Wouldn't it be nice to stop at three? Four. You yes. can if you want. <laughs> Five, six, seven, and eight. Open the palm and push down. Lift the fingertips up. Spread your fingertips wide. They really deserve this. They deserve it. Okay. Now make your whole hand squish. Push down the whole thing. hand lifts. So your fingers lift up. Get your fingers widey, wide, wide, wide. Good. Push down, push down. There you go. Squeeze and lift. Good. And push, push, push. That's it. You're doing great. And squeeze. Wow, that's a lot of work, isn't it? Now we have feel a it. gentle grip. Yeah, you can really feel it in your fingers. Now we have a gentle grip. And we're just going to have the wrist circle. Good, good. And now we're going in the opposite direction. Good, good. So we're going to shake it out and we're going to put these down. So what would you do when you get out of bed? One of the first things you do is stretch. So we're only going to bring our hands up here as we breathe in and exhale. <sighs> breathe in. Can we go a little higher and pay attention to how you feel? Exhale. Third one, go as high as you can. Breathe in and breathe out. Good work. So one of the things we do is brush our hair, okay? So we're going to take a hold of our brush. Now, sometimes in the morning, my hands are so stiff, I actually do have to take my glove because it gives me extra padding, and I put my hand on my brush, okay? Ooh. So I'm going to brush my hair. Here we go. We're going to brush our hair back. Notice how that makes your shoulder feel. Brush your hair back. Good, good, good. And brush your hair back. Good, good. And fourth time, brush your hair back. That's a lot of work on the shoulder. Did you feel that? Yeah. I hear it too. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. I hear it. Yeah. Her shoulder talks to her. Other hand, brush your hair back a little bit because sometimes one shoulder doesn't feel good. So the other hand has to work as we're brushing our hair. And one more time, brush your hair. Good and relax. Now we're going to put on our socks. So I don't know about you, but I put my foot like this, inhale, my flat back folds forward, and I kind of put the toe over my sock. Yeah. Really? Put my sock over my toe. That's good stretching. Too. That's a good stretch. <laughs> so when I get it over my toe, then I breathe in, and I breathe out and I slowly walk my hand down. I hold the sides of my sock and put it over oh. my foot. Oh. Okay? Okay. But I have to start easy. Other fan. So I've got my sock. It's the invisible sock. It's the emperor's new sock. <laughs> okay, flat back comes forward and just put the sock over your toe. Then come on up and slowly and easily if it's comfortable for you. Some people like to elevate their foot, like to put it on a hassock or even on the bed and do it that way. So you can do it any way you want. This is an exercise just to get you bending forward, paying attention to how it feels and then kind of pull the sock all the way down and up. Good. Again, let's pull those arms back. Open the chest. Good, 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 good. And uh, now I'm going to put my pants on, okay? Here are my pants, <laughs> all right? So I lean back. I put my foot like this. So you can do this getting your socks on, too. 
one leg in the pants and then I step down. Okay, here comes my other foot. So I have to pull my pants up a little bit. I bring my foot over here or put it up on the bed or even a hassock or chair and I put the other leg on my foot and push the leg through. And then of course I stand up, up and put the <laughs> pants on. Yes, thank you, thank you, Carol. Good. So, you know, just getting dressed. Yeah. So putting a sweater on. We get the sweater, oh. we put our hand down, and then we flip the sweater over and push the hand down. Wow, that was great, and we're all dressed and ready to go. Let's take a great big breath in. And as you exhale, know that all, all will, will be well. well. Good job. You did really, really well. And I hope you like how we're dressed. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.